everyone. My name is Anthony Gallegos. I'm with my best friend, Brian Otano. Rap, rap. Best friend in the world. How are you, Anthony? Uh, I'm doing well. Um, so we're here to, to show off the new Tomb Raider. And specifically, we're running it on PC. Yes. So, I mean, uh, we have everything turned up to full. You know, obviously the PC version has uh, some additional graphics options. You know, we have the V-Sync turned all the way up and a, a bunch of uh, graphics options that probably make no sense to many people. Including um, me. Yeah, so you know we have the anisotropic filter, blah blah blah, depth of field, SSAO on ultra post processing. We have really good machines, basically what I'm saying. Right. But there are a lot of the graphics options that PC players expect there to be. Like it's it's not a uh, a shoddy port by any means. Mm -hmm. But uh, one of the cool things we have is this thing called Tress Effects turned on for hair, which I know it sounds so dumb, but uh, it actually just animates individual strands of hair, that like is a amazing. ton of them, and it basically turns them into little chains in a chain link, so that. It, they'll animate when she's like when the wind's actually blowing, or if she does something where she's falling. So I've so. seen I've seen screenshots of this in action, uh, this hair effect, but I haven't actually seen it running. And yeah, it so looks really good. You see, like she has like a couple hundred strands of hair that are acting individually from each other, as yep. opposed to like one big lock. Now, for reference, I uh, I I played I played uh, Tomb Raider on PS3. I uh -huh. played about 20 hours. <laughs> Finished everything almost 100% of the game, and uh, thought it was one of the best-looking console games ever made. And this is even better. Yeah. I mean, I'm just actually, I'm really stunned right now. I, I know we have like the god rays coming through the clouds. Yep. A ton of particle effects. Like it's a crazy beautiful game. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually really happy because I've been waiting to play this, and I decided I was going to play it on PC. And uh, I don't feel like it's not like there are sometimes that I think PC players feel like they're kind of getting uh, the shaft. Yeah and I definitely don't feel like that's the case. And I've been looking forward to this game. You know, the beginning, I know that some people complained, like, the beginning starts off with a lot of quick time events and that yep. sort of thing. Yep. But uh, then everything I've heard about it beyond, like, the first couple hours is, you know, like, people like you saying that it's one of their favorite games this generation. Yeah. Like, and that's not, like, a sentiment that I've only heard from you. Like, I keep hearing that. Okay. Yeah, I think, um, I've said this a lot, but I feel like people are going to be really surprised with Tomb Raider, especially after the first hour opens up a little bit. Uh, it, it becomes... A very different game, and you know, the, you get through the intro tutorial stuff, and they're kind of teaching you the basics, and they're sort of forcing you down a couple tunnels and paths. Like here, it doesn't really seem like there's a ton of freedom to go anywhere but forward. But right, the game really starts to be, uh, begin to open up after this. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm really happy that it turned out the way it did because you know, when they said they were going to do like a gritty Tomb Raider reboot. Uh, everyone was just worried that it would, like, I know that it sounds really funny, but everyone was worried that it would just be like an Uncharted clone. Right, and I mean, for good measure, because we saw parts like this a lot. And oh, God. Oh. oh, God. Sorry. Just gotta keep it, you gotta keep it tense, huh? Yeah. Uh, Uncharted has a lot of sequences like this where you're climbing up a, a broken plane and parts are falling down sure. and stuff like that. And, but it's funny because, like, Uncharted obviously came from an inspiration of uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah. But uh, now it's like Uncharted is is like the standard now, but it, it seems like the, the guys at Crystal Dynamics that made Tomb Raider have really kind of delivered on like the promise of a real yeah. reboot. It, to me, it kind of reminds me of how um, Resident Evil 4 led way to games like Gears of War, and then Gears of War became such a big action game that Resident Evil 5 and 6 actually took some ideas from it. Right. But yeah, what I just really like this is such a consistently beautiful game and you never stop being impressed at some of the different uh, things that you see going on in the background the texture work is fantastic but just seeing like the light come into areas and you know you you're in like a lush forest one second you're on an ice mountain the next um, it all takes place in this really kind of cool packed. mysterious island I was wondering how you felt about like a uh, Laura's character because uh, Lara yeah. Laura's character because you know uh I know that their goal was to make it like a much more serious thing, right? She's not the old Tomb Raider where she's like spinning around in circles, shooting tigers right, in the face. Right. She doesn't have cool sunglasses. She's not, you know, jump kicking off a dinosaur's back or anything like that. But I thought for the most part, it's it's handled really well, and uh, you actually you feel pain with her. It's it's not just like I mean, she's consistently covered in dirt and blood and grime, and it just like there's actual sections of the game where you are literally needed in blood, and it's just disgusting. You actually really feel bad for oh. her. Oh. Oh god. So I've never played, by the way. So anything Brian seeing, he's he knew that was coming. But like for me, <laughs> I actually didn't. I actually thought that I had failed. There I for thought a you second. screwed up for a second there too. I, <laughs> I played through this intro a few times, and it still caught me off guard. Yeah. I mean the PC version though, man. I'm just loving the lighting effects, the shadows. 
Do you like the sounds? Because uh, those were some wolves you just heard. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I, don't, I would like it more if I had a gun. Uh huh. I have a torch, but I don't have a way to light it. So, like, don't you just feel so horrible for this girl right now? It's pouring rain. She's got this, like... Well, she just escaped from a, from a band of guys that were trying yeah. to harm her. Like, explosions were going off. Mm -hmm. She got a spike through her side. She's drinking filthy rock water. Yeah, which I think maybe, like, 50 years ago that was a good idea, but you can't really do that anymore. No, nowadays I would just immediately start thinking about what parasites I was getting. Yeah, all of them is the answer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I just love that... That Tomb Raider is a, in 2013 is a thing. Yeah, that it's cool. Yeah, it's, right. It's, like it's great. I was uh, really worried about it because, I mean, Crystal Dynamics. It was like they were doing so many Tomb Raiders for so many years. It kind of became a joke. I know. After a while, like you know, and they just started seeming like like who cares anymore. Well, you actually, if you look back, they did a Tomb Raider game and then they did another one and another one and another one. And sometimes they're they're happening almost a year apart. And none of them were really very different for a while. I mean, they almost felt like, you know, tomb expansion packs. Like, just exactly. in terms of her character model, you know, went from having squared breasts to slightly more triangular breasts, and that was Right, they it. did some slight graphical improvements. Yeah, like, I mean, her, her face was a couple of rectangles. And now, you know, this, you know, this looks like a movie. So I'm re actually really excited to see where this franchise goes from here. How did you feel about the combat when you were playing it? Because, you know, that's one of the things that I think... You know, the old Tomb Raider relied heavily on the lock-on mechanic and that right, sort of thing. Right, right. So I will say uh, it's got its pluses and minuses. Um, my favorite thing by far is her bow. The bow is That's the, what I keep hearing. It's the weapon. It's my favorite video game weapon probably of this generation. And I found that no matter what uh, kind of guns I got, how many uh, upgrades I got to my shotgun or my assault rifle, the bow was always the old standby. I would always go to it, and basically, no matter what I was doing, how far I was, I would use the bow to take people's heads out. I'm going to skip this, by the way, just sure. to get back to the game. Um, combat gets a little crazy when you try to do hand-to-hand -hand stuff with more than one person at a, at, at a time. When yeah. it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's fantastic, and you pretty much, as long as you dodge and hit them in the head with your climbing tool, you're pretty much set to win. But throw two guys in the mix, and you're doing a lot of scrambling. I see. So she's not just like... Like, because in the old games, I mean, she was a straight-up murder machine, right? Yeah. I mean, I get the 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 impression that later on in the game, you do become pretty lethal with the bow. Like, yeah. But it relies very heavily on your ability to be able to, to get people without them knowing, yeah. rather than just being like a war machine. Yeah, so, I mean, there are some parts that you pretty much have to go guns out, and it's the only way to do it. But other parts, you could walk into a canyon, and there's 12 people standing there. Now, you could run up in the middle and be like, hey, guys, let's fight, and everyone starts shooting at you. Or you can take people out one by one with the bow, not even have them hear you, and they're all stealth kills from a, dif a distance. Yeah, I, I already feel like, uh, I mean, I know that it's it's kind of an illusion, but I already feel like the world is starting to it uh, is. It, open yeah, up a little bit it's more. It's certainly not an illusion. This is the first sort of free-roaming area you have, and this is the first weapon you get in the game, which will uh, be, be the best weapon. Yeah, it'll be your trusty bow. Now, the cool thing about this game is it's got a Resident Evil 4 uh, type of system okay. where you collect treasures, and you can sort of upgrade all your weapons. So your bow becomes oh. stronger. Yeah, she just gets beat up left and right, man. Like, it's actually cartoonish. <laughs> right? She couldn't even get, like, a bow without just... Uh-uh. Oh, and, man. like, look at this bow. It I was going to say, off. it is not so nice looking. No. Like, this guy, I don't know how he got where he got, but... Just remember Ross that's basically the mystery of this island, is that uh, you don't really know... And you can find some arrows around everywhere, too. You don't really know how to get it into this place, how to get out of this place. I don't know if you noticed there are arrows back up there. Oh, I didn't. Um, but this whole area is now open for you to run around, hunt, search for treasures. Uh, finding treasures, you can exchange them in and at campsites, upgrade your bows, your weapons, your skill set so that hunting becomes easier. Your um, animals will drop more loot and more things that you can actually use to trade in for more. So, so it's sort of like a rich get richer. I was going to say, is the hunting, so the hunting <coughs> is something I'm doing because I need basically like to heal, right? Yeah, and you need to find things and also... I found myself, you know, I have a lot of friends here at IGN that would, here we go. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. I don't know. I, I, so I got to say, the first time <laughs> I shot one of those deers, I shot him in the, in the, in the ass. And he ran? And he sort of was like, oh! <laughs> and then he ran around for like 10 minutes, like sort of oh. hobbling. Well, but I you got this guy right in the mouth. I know, but now I feel kind of bad. No, you don't. He's still alive. You love, you love hunting. Oh, Brian. Well, this is the reality of life now, Anthony. You're going to have to just deal with this. Is she really? She's going to put her mouth right on his meat and then just uh, drink oh all the blood God. for good luck. Jesus. Yeah. These are the harsh realities of life, my son. <laughs>
Look at those hair physics, though. I know. All those strands going nuts. Yep. Wow, she's really, uh... Now, the scene next is where you have to explain that kill to all of that deer's daughters. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the saddest Bambi of all yeah. time. <clears throat> so you got a skill point. Um, you can go back to that campfire at the top of the ridge, or... And this is sort of your, like, uh, you cheat button, right? Your detective vision. Yeah, it'll... It, exactly. You can scan the area for uh, certain things, and you can improve this using skill points. You can improve pretty much all of your tactics in the game using skill points, like your durability, your ability to climb, and stuff like that. Um, now, technically, you could, just for the next few hours, just hang out in this area and hunt. Uh, after a little while, you will get a message saying that the area has been mostly hunted out, but there's all sorts of things you can hunt, like, you know, you oh, saw... Oh, it's not just deer? Nope. There's uh, jackrabbits. You saw those uh, crows that you can hear. Oh, crow meat, though. And, Who wants that? Uh, a lot of people want crow meat. When <laughs> they don't have anything else, man. We're in a recession. <laughs> Okay, so now you can see animals easier. I take it like you use your detective vision and you can see animals. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, you know... Extra you, rewards. You have, some, you have to hunt some other stuff that's also hunting you here and there. For extra example. salvage, bone... Uh, extra salvage from bone. Yeah. So this one's cool. You pretty uh, much never run out of ammo with this. Well, dude, I like that. Yeah. So you can kind of pick these, and the more you do, you kind of unlock new tiers and more skills you can get. Okay. New skill mastered. Yeah. And then I take it, are there, like, uh, other trees, too, eventually? Yep. Okay, so, yeah. Yep. So these are, like, your more like your combat trees. Yeah, so, now, a, a lot of people have compared this game to Uncharted. Uncharted doesn't have any. No, no, like no. This. Uncharted is, like, you have the weapons you have, but there's no skill of progression. Yeah, you pick up a gun in Uncharted, shoot it until it doesn't have bullets anymore, and then kill a guy, pick up his gun, keep going. You know, there are so many guns in Uncharted, and there's really only a few in Tomb Raider. Another thing I like about this that, you know, it's hard to not compare to Uncharted, but I love the uh, UI and stuff. Of yeah. it. Like, I feel like it's, like, really tasteful and slick. And it really is cool. God, look at that hair. I know, right? Well, that's kind of a uh, a brief look at Tomb Raider PC. As you can see, it's it's, it's definitely no slouch as far as, uh, yeah, it's gorgeous looking. As far as ports go. Um, we're going to keep playing it. You can read the review on IGN.com. And for a lot more on Tomb Raider... You should go to IGN. And go to IGN for some crow meat recipes. Anthony will cook up some desserts for you.